Good music for Lagos. 102.3 Max FM. All right, welcome to the Max Football Show. Always, always amazing talking football. Yes. Not just in Nigeria, but all around the world. We'll cover all the things happening in the world of football. Yes, yeah, talking about football now, we understand that quite a number of news is still revolving around the Super Eagles and Ghana's clash tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And there's been so many ups and downs. People are talking here and there. Some are saying they don't like the fact that Nigeria is so confident that they're going to beat Ghana. Mm-hmm. They, should, they should actually respect their opponents too. I mean, Ghana is not just a walkover. The fact that they had a bad game at the AFCON is not necessarily uh, that opportunity for you to think that... Uh, we shouldn't underrate, underrate the Ghanaians, them. basically. But the Black others, Stars. Others are saying, come on, it's confidence you need to go and mm-hmm. win a game at the end of the day. Because mm-hmm. when you sit back, mm-hmm. when you respect your opponents too much, they could punish you. Yeah. And if you're going with that zeal, you should go all out. Because, mm-hmm. they, they, in fact, somebody said the quality of the players in the Eagles camp right now, mm-hmm. they have no excuse not to, not to beat Ghana. Yeah, I mean, now, everybody wants to go to the World Cup. <sighs> I mean, it's the ultimate when it comes to serving your country. Mm. So, I believe that the Super Eagles will go all out. Okay. If they don't go to the World Cup, it's another four years. And yeah. nobody wants to miss out on that. <sighs> so, I think, I, w- I expect Nigeria to qualify. Okay. Not because I'm speaking as a Nigerian. <laughs> Looking at the talent we have, I think we're going to subdue the Black Stars. Uh, some interesting stats on the Nigeria-Ghana rivalry. It's yeah. existed even right before both countries existed. Mm. Um, you know, Nigeria, I mean, Ghana got their independence first, 1957, before yeah. Nigeria followed and I think from that point on as well, the rivalry intensified. Why should tiny Ghana get <laughs> independence <laughs> before us? But in terms of the football action, Ghana has the edge. Yeah. Ghana has uh, four, uh, you know, African Cup of Nations trophies. We mm. have three. Uh, they've been at the quarterfinal. We've never been at the World Cup quarterfinal before. Uh, they also have a 21-10 advantage in head-to-head meetings, which means out of 31 meetings, they've beaten us. Um, you know, they have a 21 uh, game no, uh, edge over us. Right. So right. basically, we're looking to overturn that. Mm. Our football dominance really, you know, grew in the 90s. Yeah. And so I think ever since then, we've not looked back, so mm. to say. Mm. So to say. So to say. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. we're looking to really solidify but, but stars, our, sta- yeah. our, our, should I say, dominance in terms of football with this particular game. Stars don't matter, mm. especially when it comes to football these days. No matter the stats you have, uh, trust me, uh, things could go south mm. at the end of the day. Zero and so that strategy, sorry, you spoke about that strategy to delay the team list. Yeah. Very intentional. Do yeah. you think it's going to affect our, our lineup? It will never. Or do you think it will? It would. It won't, affect, okay. it won't affect anything. Okay. Present anybody you want to present. So okay. long the players are on the pitch and the coach gives them the direction they need to play. I really don't think, uh, really, because there's who is, tell me one, two, three fantastic. He said there was a Ghanaian yeah. FA executive council member, mm. Sami Addo, mm. who claimed, I mean, who said, uh, and they're very confused. Mm. They're confused. <laughs> <laughs> now Nigeria is confused because of the strategy. He says, we can't always do the same thing all the time. Yeah. And for the first time, this is the strategy and yeah. we believe in it. All right. We will beat Nigeria and qualify to Qatar 2022. All right. Well, uh, ju- <laughs> just, just, just before you land also, uh, the president of Ghana Football Association, Kurt Okraku, says uh, Nigeria are, are little babies <laughs> who pretend to be big boys. <laughs> <laughs> People are talking, you know, or more, and I know how you will say it. You see, Nigeria, they are our little babies. Our little babies. Our little babies. Our little they're babies. They're pretending to be big boys. <laughs> Hit music for Lagos. 102.3 Max FM.